the keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we're looking at another shader filter from the one and only Exceldro himself. Who remembers that old school uh, video? Well, I say old school, I think it was last year, by Alpha Gaming. Yeah, remember that cool overlay? Yeah, you don't have to do any image mask now. Exceldro's built a shader filter for it, as you can see now. Yeah, let's just get on with it. Put your rock over the stone, let's go. So we're going to need a couple of things to get this up and running. We're going to have to obviously have OBS, which if you're watching this video without OBS, I feel like you've took a wrong turn somewhere on the internet. So get OBS. And we're going to jump to this website just here. All the links are in the description down below, so don't worry about missing anything. We're just going to hit download just there. Uh, and that's going to download a file, as you can see just here. I've got this OBS shader filter. Uh, and we're going to right click that and extract all and press extract. There'll be a couple of files just inside of here. So inside the OBS shader filter, you'll see OBS Studio. Double click into that and you've got data and OBS plugins. We're just going to copy them. And we're going to go to your OBS uh, folder, which mine's in C drive and then in program files and then OBS dash studio. Yours might be in uh, program files 86. It depends. Just jump into there and right click and press paste. Just like so. It's going to ask if you want to replace if you are updating it and you already have it. It's going to ask for all system privileges and everything like that. Just say yes to everything. That's absolutely fine. Once that's done, we can close that down and go to this other link just here, which is on Exceldro's GitHub page. Again, link in the description. Right click anywhere on that page and we're just going to press save as. And this uh, this kind of section will come up. We're going to change the, the type to all files and then we're going to remove the .txt at the end so as you can see just there alpha gaming bent camera dot shader there's no dot txt at the end and then we're just going to press save you can save it anywhere on your computer i'm just going to use the desktop for this instance press save i already have it so i'm going to replace it that's fine we can close that down and jump to our desktop now you'll see you've got alpha gaming just there we're going to copy that or we can cut it and then we're going to open up your file directory and jump to your obs studio folder that we're in then we're going to go into data obs plugins and then if you go further down, you should see OBS shader filter. Open up in there, and then inside of examples, we just go right click and press paste. I've already got mine just there, as you can see. It's going to ask me to replace. I'm going to say, yeah, that's cool. And it'll say it needs to continue with privileges and all that jazz. You're like, yeah, man, do it. It's fine. Exceldro won't give you a virus, so trust me, he's a good lad. Right, close that down and we can open up OBS now. If you already had OBS open, you're going to have to restart it after installing the shader filter plugin. You'll know it's working because when you uh, go to one of your sources, for instance, I'm going to be doing it on this video capture. I'm going to right click, go to filters. And when you press the plus on the effect, just there, you should see user defined shader. If you can't see that, it means you've not installed it correctly. So I'm going to click user defined shader. I'm just going to call it uh, alpha gaming. For now and press ok uh, it'll bring up all these little sections just here we're gonna tick this one load shader text from file press browse and we're gonna go it should automatically open you in that examples folder that's why i told you to save it in there it saves you having to navigate around your computer we're just gonna open up the alpha gaming one just there and as you can see that's it we look exactly like it did in that video but not just that we can edit it and this is all without using a mask so if I click on the edits just here on the left hand side, we don't need to change any of the extra pixels or anything like that. It's all fine. We don't need to mess about with anything like this. We can use slider inputs if you find that easier to see what you're doing. Yeah, you're more than welcome to do that. So left width, if I start moving this, you can probably see that in fact sliders isn't great for this one. So let's untick that and pretend that never happened. So I'm going to go back uh, to defaults. If you want defaults, you can always press defaults at the bit. Bottom just there. As I start ranking this up, you can see as it's moving across and bending the camera, you can change the uh, the size of how much you want it to be. And you can do this on both sides of the plugin as well. So if I, uh, I can make it look really stupid if I want. So the shadow depends how dark you want it to be down the back. So if I change this to like 0.4, you can see it's really dark down the bottom now. And we'll do that to the right side as well. So the shadow 0.4. So you can get some really cool effects if you really want to. It's up to you what you do with it. This is probably a really bad example because it looks absolutely atrocious. But the fact that you don't need to use an image mask to be able to do this it will save you so much time. 
So the flip here on the side is the shadow just there. So you can get that really cool like 3D kind of look, which is really nice. But then you can take it one step further if you want. As a bonus tip, if you press the plus sign again, and if you've got the, the shader, we can add some rounded corners, which is all my, always my favorite at the moment. Load shader from text file, browse. And right down at the bottom, it's in alphabetical order, so you can go rounded rectangles, crank up the radius, we'll put it on like 50, why not? And it's all rounded the corners, as you can see. Uh, border thickness, we can add a border if we want, just like so. Mess about with the alpha uh, and everything like that if we want to. It's completely up to you how you would do it. I'm going to go 100. And you can make it all rounded. So you can get some really cool things out of it. So that is just one of the shader filters. Just saves messing about with image masks. And it's configurable. So you don't have to change the image masks. And if you want to animate that, you could use the move transition plugin as well. To use the move value. And then, yeah, the world is your oyster. Okay, so if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like. Also, comment below what you're going to use this for. And anything cool, share it in the Discord. And if you want to support me, consider becoming a channel member today. And also supporting on Patreon and you will get the videos early over at Patreon. So let me know if you want to join the team. Put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.